Hey, happy fourth, fucking. Oh. Fuck. Mm. Hey, happy 4th of July. Happy Independence Day, motherfuckers. Yeah, happy in American Day. I hope you get sunburnt today and drink too much and have a hamburger and a hot dog. I hope you eat so much food and I hope, God, I hope you feel like you shit tomorrow. Drink so much alcohol and I mm. hope by eleven thirty tonight, after mm -mm -mm. you've seen all the fireworks, you are puking up all that processed meat that was so good. I hope your dogs don't sleep tonight because the fireworks and everything's annoying and the yeah. kids are screaming. I, I hope, hope your all baby of it. wakes up because it's five people are setting off fireworks at two a.m. in the morning for no fucking reason. I'm not, I'm not venting. I hope at your all. PTSD neighbor puts a sign out that says, "Be aware that I'm scared of." Boom booms. <laughs> oh, happy fourth, folks. Happy fourth. All right, welcome back. Welcome back. The Whiskey and Whitetails. Thank you for joining us. If you've been here before, welcome back. As I said, if you're new here, well, thank you for coming. Yeah. Been what? here for a while. Thanks for being here for a while. Who's been here a while? I've been here a while. Our patrons have been here a while. That's true. We're going to do stuff a little different this episode. It's not really even an episode. We're just going to do stuff. And I think we're, we're, we're tired of counting. <laughs> we're sick of thumbnails for, the, for episode numbers. Yeah, we're just going to focus on content. And yeah, then we're just going to make stuff. And then we'll put it out on audio version and video version. And then if you don't like that, you can't hear, see the audio, hear the video. If you don't like it, uh, you know, we're open to input. So we're just going to change things up. We're going to do, we're, we want to do stuff that we want to do. Cause that's what this whole thing was about was doing stuff we want to do. So now we're going to do other things. And we don't know what that's going to look like yet. It's going to change, but this will be a completely different episode than normal. Cause it's not an episode. <laughs> But yes, as you were saying, Patreon's been around for a while, and we just redid the tiers, got everybody moving over. One of the tiers are going away. Two of the tiers are going away. We got everybody moved over. We got um, some people in our new tier, which you get some classes and, and some cool stuff out of it. We're excited to get that going. That's more work for us, but... Yes. It's going to be fun. It's going to be really good. Yeah. We're excited about it. And I think patrons were excited about it. It's a good deal for everybody, so I don't, I don't... Yeah, everybody's getting more. For sure. Yeah. So, And then something about the... We want to thank the Waypoint Network for having us on here. As always, thank you. Thanks for having us. We're glad to be here. It's a good time. Great oldies. Whatever. <laughs> so this episode, we're going to play some clips. And then we got these two bottles of wild turkey here. One is a... two that well, I wrote it down. Two, I had to do the math. 2011 uh -huh. wild turkey rye, which I'll get into it. But in my book, I'm going to call it a Dusty. And then we have a brand new wild turkey rye, both 101 proof. One is age stated, I believe. They're neither one are age stated, but they're four to six years. They look identical. They look pretty close, yeah. In terms of the actual, yeah, just this camber, itself, yeah, color. It looks good, looks delicious. But they, uh, you know, wild turkey's been kind of making the rye. Nobody really cared about the rye until recently, so a lot of these didn't sell well. They just didn't make a bunch of them. Nobody cared about the rye until they cared about the rye. Until the bourbon, well, yeah. But uh, so we're gonna do them blind because every time we do one of these, people are like, "You should have done them blind because instead of this one was better because you liked it before." Okay, that's fair. Not only we're we gonna do it blind, you're gonna get to watch how we open Dusty's that has worked every time we've done it, which is one time, <laughs> once. Yeah. Did you have anything you wanted to say before we get into it? No, I just really want to get into it. Yeah, I do too. All right. <laughs> So I usually do like some swirly thing to kind of get the the uh, the top, get some liquid on the top, some of that flammable liquid. And uh, do you want to open that one while I do this one? Because this is going to take me a second. I thought you wanted to draw out this content. I mean, we can, but does, do people, I mean, am I going to sit here in silence while I open this bottle? Oh, I can talk about the alligator hunt. Did you draw a tag? I did not. Neither did Tyler Woods. I had so, a bunch of people pull pull tags, and um, so far, everyone that uh, pulled tag or applied did not did not get it. Uh, I see. I bet Mr. Livingston got it. I bet he did. See, his baby was born. Yeah, congratulations, congratulations Matt and to Matt and Brittany. Congratulations, y'all. Baby looks healthy and and beautiful, beautiful baby or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> right? 
Yeah, that's right. I don't know. <laughs> Matt doesn't kids. I don't, yeah, I, don't, I don't know what you're supposed to do. Oh, I made it. Congratulations. It's the Matt. first time all day. Good job. All right. So typically what I do is I take the our torch and I bring it down some. And then I just kind of heat up. But, you know, don't burn the plastic. But I just kind of get the glass heated up a little bit. And it's worked every time. Because uh, I hope it works this time because I don't have a corkscrew. I'm actually going to open that again a little bit further down because I'm hitting that label. It's easier to take the time to do it this way than, you know, have to come back later. I'm looking at the label, the, I don't know, man. I'm looking at the cork. I think it's probably unnecessary. It'll probably just come out just fine. I mean, it looks pretty crusty to me, and there's chunks of it floating. There we go. But just, uh, you know, heat the glass up a little bit. All right, I'm going to let that sit for a second. You can pop yours. Okay. Oh, that was fun. Have you ever had wall turkey rye? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. I missed that time. All right. So give us a straight up. Don't twist these. Oh, that smells so good. Don't cheat and smell. Oh, I'm guess. sorry. Uh huh? Huh? It's fine. Look it at it. it. It's fine. It did it. It's not crusty at all. Your mom. Not crusty. Did not. Okay. All right. Turn around. So I've labeled these X and O, and I'm not going to let Gus see. Don't look at the TV either. <laughs> Cheating bastard. Uh, and so I'm going to do. Yeah. All right. That's fair. Glove, glove. I'll tell you when I'm done. All right, and then I just realized in order to make this completely fair, you're going to have to rub the X and O's off because I'm going to know which one's which. <laughs> I didn't think about that. For yours? Yeah, I didn't think about... Um... So I don't know... I don't. You know don't know which, which one's is which. which. Yeah. So maybe take mine and then uh, like write down... If you change the X's or O's, or you don't change the X's or O's, and then mix it around. Okay. And let me, I'll, I'll get you a marker. Yeah, give me, the, yeah. Because I want to play too. So you can change it or don't. Doesn't matter. I mean, you got to wipe it off and at least pretend to change it because I'll know my own handwriting. Right. Yeah. And then. Just switch it around. Just make sure you make a note of which one's which one was X and which one was O. And I know which one yours is. You drawing? Yep, done. Okay. I'm not drawing anything. Okay, I thought you were drawing something fun. Nah. Okay, so we have our things. This is interesting. Why? It just is. Yeah. Which one are we starting with? I started with um, mine, which was labeled O. Okay. I get a lot of lemon. Like an unreasonable amount of lemon. <laughs> like, like lemon pine saw? Yeah, like lemon pine <laughs> saw. That's a good one. I like that a lot. I haven't had a Walter E. Ryan in a long time because I wanted to do this. It's very fruity. I get some vanilla kind of out of it and some oak, but there's a lot of lemon. Almost pear. <laughs> lemon pear. Bath and Body Works. <laughs> I think that's what I'm getting. <laughs> also, my concussion's gone away, so I can think again. Is that right? We'll see. Oh, it makes this one almost non-existent. I get green apple, like sour green apple with this. I could get that. They're both extremely fruity. I feel like this one has way more of a, like a tart. The O sample. Oh, uh, yeah. Make sure I don't wipe them off. Interesting. That's really weird. I think I'm going to drink X first because I think O has the way better nose. Or my O, anyway.
Which one did you drink first? X? My X, yeah. Um, I don't know. My ex has a, my ex, <laughs> my ex has a very oily mouth feel. <laughs> yeah, X was silky, or O. Oh, which one was silky? I haven't tried O yet. Well, my my ex. Ooh, wow. Oh man, O is interesting. Very different mouthfeels. The yeah. X is very oily and kind of thick. For me, and O is, is very thin, but it, uh, it has a long, I don't know, wide finish. I don't know how to explain it. <clears throat> I think I like O better. What do you think? What do you think in there, Madamus? I don't know. I'm like, uh, I think X has, a, 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 it's very silky. Yeah. <clears throat> As you said, um, silky, I don't really? get a whole lot of flavor out of it. Out of X. I feel like it has a little bit more spice to it. And I do get more of that green apple now. <laughs> but O is like still straight lemon to me. Yeah. The green apple does come through a little bit on the palate as well. It is kind of silky and oily. O is definitely thinner. It has a little bit more heat to it. Yeah, it's just it's it drinks hotter. I mean, they're, they're yeah. obviously they're both the same proof, but it, it does drink uh, a little warmer. Warm. I wish I knew if ours were the same. Can you just tell me so we can continue this experiment? They're the same. I didn't. I, that's what I figured because I'm sitting here and I'm like, I want to say exactly what he's saying, and then <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um. So for those that did not, ca I did not change which was which. I I wiped yeah. them off and they were the same. So I know what what they are now, but um, I'm surprised and I'm a little butt hurt on both. <laughs> I mean, they're fantastic. Don't get me wrong; they're really good. I actually had not this, but a sister bottle. Yeah, Kevin Dawson gave me some probably I don't know two weeks ago, and I remember it being like super spicy. Can you can you tell me what what they are now? Yeah, this uh, so X. Which one do you like better off the top? So I honestly like the nose on X. That kind of that almost uh, sour apple. Yeah, you get. But I like I like the way the O drinks a lot. So X is is the dusty, mm. and O is the new one. Interesting. And I think I like the new one better, to be honest with you. Yeah, I think if I had to pick one, obviously because I'm putting it in my mouth and not just smelling it, I'm gonna go with the, I'm gonna go with the the new one as well. That's unfortunate. Yeah. When you get a dusty, you really want to like it for the fact that it is, you know, the old, old and everything. Well, it was just built up to me to be yeah. like this crazy thing. And when I had it, you know, I, I had a sober palate and I drank it, and I was like, I really like it, but I haven't had rye 101 in, in quite a while. Mm -hmm. Like you know, I drink 101 almost exclusively. It's pretty much the only thing I drink is wild turkey, but. It's really sad, man, too. All those bottles I have, I walk in there and like, as I try and be fancy and, and try this and that, and I'll take yeah. a couple for the gram. But after like three pours, I go in there and just stare at it and go, because the wild turkey, I have a handle. It just sits on the bottom of the floor yeah. off the bar. And I'll go in there and look at all these open bottles and I just, I'll grab that. You're still drinking on that hand? Is that the same one I bought you for your birthday? Yeah. Nice. I figured you'd, I figured you'd have gone through that by now. It's, it has gone through now. <laughs> I finished. I have a handle. I have a one liter and a seven fifty, and so I'm going through the one liter right now. Yeah, that's unfortunate, man. It's um, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's cool, and we're still going to send samples out of that to the people that we did a little trivia on Patreon, and I think six people got a sample. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So six people will get to taste it. Yeah. So. Cool. Well, we want to do that and see which one's which, and and I think I definitely like the newer one better. Um, but it's always cool to have old bottles on the table, on the bar. Yeah. So I wanted to talk a little bit about wild turkey since we're here. So Let's everybody see. knows the hunting trip from 1936, where they went hunting for wild turkey and they brought turkey, they brought whiskey with them, and yep. they were like, 
Bring more of that turkey whiskey. Wild turkey was yeah, and so you know, but it actually all this stuff started in 1850. Uh, it was built by the Old Moore Distillery. It was on what's called Wild Turkey Hill, and uh, in 1855, Austin Nichols was founded, and they did. They were an NDP, a non-distilling producer, so they did not distill. They would source, just like many places do today. Mm-hmm. So they would source stuff and uh, kind of make their own shiznit. Nice. Right? Nice. Um, and then I guess the first like wild turkey label that was really put out was in 1940. Okay. Pretty sure that's, it was a, like even 1940. Uh, but anyway, there's a bunch of timelines for people that own property, for people that had dist- distillers, people that bottled. Mm-hmm. And then all that kind of came together in 1971. That's when wild turkey was founded. And, um, wild turkey has been around for quite some time. It's a favorite of mine. I've been drinking on it forever. I hardly ever talk about it, right? <laughs> yeah, you don't talk about it very much. You're very humble in your opinions about it. But it's the shit. It's the one of the first whiskeys I've ever drank, and I've been drinking it literally forever. Wild Turkey Russell Reserve picks are money. Um, I've been a harsh critic of a lot of Wild Turkey products that have come out, and I've often said if this was a Russell's Reserve pick, this would have been a fantastic bottle, like, like last year's Wild Turkey won. The Masters Keep won. It's... Um, <sighs> If it was a Russell's pick, it would have been amazing, but it's not. It's uh, It was supposed to be something a little better than that. But other than that, regular Wild Turkey one-on-one is just I, I I enjoy it. That's your thing, huh? It's my thing. So I buy old ones. The wife, her grandpa had a, uh unopened bottle from the 70s, and it's um, just cool stuff. Do we have anything in here? Probably I not. thought we had an old bottle in here. Never mind. Yeah. Um, but that WB Saffle... One of my favorite things, too. Yep. It's turkey. But I wanted to do the fact of the week first because it was a turkey point. Yeah. Random fact of the week, folks. And this random fact of the week is brought to you by whiskeywhitehills.com. Where you can go to whiskeywhitehills.com and use code podcast. Save 20% on everything in our store. Go check it out. We sell bourbon barrel made products um sometimes we have a shirt drop or something but not very often or hoodies. Uh, i sell it quick we have glenn karen's turkey calls duck calls deer grunt tubes clocks clocks hoodies yeah we sell stuff we sell stuff check it out change yeah, it check it out so the random fact that i wanted to say is that wild turkey has used the exact same yeast strain since the 1950s pretty Pretty cool. So people talk about that dusty funk. Yep, that's where that comes from. That's, that's it. So it's always had. It's always going to have it. Hopefully, um, and Jimmy Russell is like the man. So everybody I've ever met that's met him has loved him. Everybody takes pictures with him. He's like a icon in the bourbon world. Yeah, and, and he's kind of the one that's kind of grew all this stuff. He's him and um, Eddie. But yeah. like, one day we'll get out there to meet him. We know the guy that runs the Wild Turkey Experience out there. He's pretty cool, too. Let's do that sooner than later. Yep. For the same reason I'm thinking. So, other fact is the still at Wild Turkey is 60 inches in diameter, 52 feet high, and has 19 stripping plates on it. Really? They are cranking out some bourbon over there. No On shit. Wild Turkey Hill. Holy cow. So, over the years, it's been known as on Wild Turkey Hill. We had Old Hickory. The Rippy Brothers, Anderson County Boulevard, JTS Brown, then Wild Turkey. And uh, that was as much as I was really going to get into it. Just a small little background of where they came from. And then I was going to explain, if you find these old bottles like this, they have what's called a laser code. And uh, we are big fans of RareBird.com, RareBird101. And you can go over there and check out. A lot of information on Walter. That's why we don't really talk that much about it because everything you need to know is there. There's no reason to, to repeat the wheel. But they have a breakdown of the of the codes on here and they're in Julian dates. This one's 025, which is January 5th. And the year code was a one, which makes it a 2011 because that is a that's what year those bottles were. The bottle by Austin Nichols Dilling Company mm-hmm. was between a certain set of years and, and that's a 2011. So fascinating. Yeah. And then this one's a 2021. Because I just bought it. Do you so. have do you have matching uh, do you have matching bottles? By by that I mean, do you have any dusties where you were able to snag a regular one on one and arrive from the same same year time, no. time, year time frame? No, all my one on ones are are a lot older. 
their early 2000s. These are, this is one of the ones that people don't really go towards. Yeah. Because it's one of those split years. It's hard to tell because they rebuilt the distillery in 2011. So did you get, you know, it was a transition year. Yeah. Where they were distilling at the old place and where they were distilling at the new place, which this is January 2011. So this was definitely distilled in the old distillery. Interesting. But I think it was July 1st, actually, is when they opened. Oh, okay. July 1st, 2011. That, that's, I believe that's right. Fascinating. Yep. So we're next we're going to do smoked. Smoke it. So smoke do you want a whiskey. new smoke or old smoke? Um, I, I like the new one. So I'm going to go with the new one. I like the new one too. Sorry, old turkey. Jive turkey. I don't even know what that means. I heard it on a, uh, our buddy say it all the time. Over it. Bullshit and booze podcast. Pew, 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 pew. Cheers to you guys. Yeah. If you don't know, then go check them out too. It's one of the only podcasts that I actually listen to. <laughs> That's not like informational. It's just like, let's have fun. I like them. Deacon and Dick knows. All right. You've got to stop banging stuff on this. Place. I know. I can't help it. So if you've never seen it before, this is our cocktails burger kit. Sometimes I brand them wrong, so there's nothing wrong with this one. I just I'm not going to ship you one that's branded. See how the brand's all jacked up. I'm not going to do that to you. So we ship you nice stuff. So anyway, it's pretty simple. What I just do is scrape the char off every once in a while. You got to do that. But if you burn a hole through this block, we will replace it for free. For sure. Just send it back. Just to send us. it back to us because we want to create a display of all the ones that have been super. Used you know up. how many we have right now? Zero. Not, not nobody's, one. Nobody's not. done it. We believe in you. I'm lightweight. I mean, you could do it if Drink you just up. You know, blare straight down on it. But, I mean, don't do that. Use it. Enjoy it. But you kind of, like, hit it. And it takes a little bit of time on this freshly scraped block to get that char build back up. But you see how you're starting to get some flame there? And what we tell everybody is if there's no fire, there's no smoke. So if you do that and then let it go, you're not going to get anything. You have to capture that fire underneath the glass. Ooh. And then you see all that all that smoke. It smells so deliciously yep. wonderful. What these are, are burn barrel staves. This is called the soak lines. How far the whiskey soaks into the wood during the maturation of the product. We take them from Kentucky. We break them down, we cut do. them up, route them out. If it's straight wall whiskey glasses, you already own. Blocking a torch comes with it. It's quite the sales pitch, Matt. You said that before. <laughs> Jesus, dude. <laughs> I try to only say it on the weekends, but. Yeah, we when are. we work the market, it's all night long. And I, I mean, we don't mind it. It's fun. It's, it's uh, you know, it's part of the deal. But uh, yeah. Yep. We've had plenty of time to develop that pitch. That's for sure. Also, if you use code podcast, you get it dumb cheap. They're $50. What can you buy right now for $50? Name it. Half dozen eggs. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. I don't Nothing, know. Not much. Two gallons of milk. <laughs> A couple gallons of gas. Can't fill your truck up for that. Hell no. I'll tell you what, I put $153 in my truck yesterday. $153. $153. That's three smoker kits. Actually, more because twenty percent off with Co Podcast. Yeah, and for the Fourth of July holiday, because we are two red blooded patriots, uh, we just I, I unilaterally decided to do a promo, which you'll get in your email if you are subscribed to our email list on uh, our website for twenty percent off your entire order, not just oh. not just a, a product. So. Go over there and, and and load up that cart. Yeah, and, we don't ever do that. And you'll get 20% off your entire order. Yeah, it's interesting. We don't ever do that. It's usually you're limited to one. Well, one we thing. do that because uh, we also limit the... Uh, we limit some of our products that have a... <laughs> Something a little <sighs> Yeah, we have a lower uh, uh, margin... For profits, thank you, sir. Yeah, and so we don't we don't allow we don't always allow uh, you know those discounts on all our products, but because it's Fourth of July in America, we also have resellers that that we wholesale to people in bulk, and they sell it at their stores. So we're also pretty. Uh, we have to keep those people in mind as well, which is good for you if you ever want to wholesale our stuff. We're not going to screw you over and sell it for super cheap but we are we do do uh certain sales here and there especially right now during the economy we just got off the phone with an event for snipers unknown i should have said it never mind can't tell the story <laughs> i don't want to put anybody on the spot yeah sorry the point of that was god i don't want to set the, there should be a fire alarm in here anyway um i don't want to um 
you know, the average American is, is not doing well. So I've been told. And uh, there's just not a lot of money anymore. Even from like events, like major event sponsors. Yeah, everybody's pension pennies. Yeah. Pension pennies. <clears throat> pension pennies. So um, next, we're going to get into, uh, we actually want to do some clips. So we're going to play some clips. Okay. I want to stay on topic. We did our whiskey. We paid our taxes to the whiskey people, and now we can we can do this. And maybe some days there'll be a whiskey episode. Maybe some days there'll be a whitetail episode. But this the point week. is, a lot of our episodes have been kind of all over the place, uh, and our company is called Whiskey and Whitetails because those are the two things that the company revolves around. So we're trying to bring you more focused content on one of those two each episode. Holy maple freaking syrup now. It's like breakfast in a glass. It like added back the things that it did that it was missing. Yeah, it's really good. Interesting. I'm telling you, man, people people sleep on what a little what smoking a glass will do. Yeah, and by the way, uh top mount smokers, uh next time you're smoking a cigarette in your bathroom or a cigar in the pool, <laughs> let's do that. Next time you're smoking a cigar in the pool. Just go to the water, take a big old hit of the cigar, blow it at the water, see how much smoke goes inside the water. I'm going to guess none because it won't. So when we do, you do this, you're coating the glass with this film, and then when the whiskey gets in there, it eats that film away and it infuses it. So a top hat smoker doesn't do all damn thing other than create smell. Lots of smell. Lots of smell. AKA Just wanted to throw that out there. Smoke. Is also, this a video? Well, I mean, I'm going to get to the video. Oh, okay. So this is the first one to start us off. Holy shit. How is he not dead? Dude, Play it again. He didn't get impaled. It said the... So close. Dude, it, it danced around him. Yeah. It like it landed on one side and just kind of... Got lucky. And you know how twitchy they are. Yeah. So he twitched from one shoulder to the other and didn't cut his head off or stab him in the throat. I mean, how many, what do you think that fish weighs? 200 pounds? Oh, probably more than that. 200 pound sword slashing around your head? You know what I would have done immediately after that? Bought a lottery ticket? Yep. Yeah. Tell yeah. your kids you love them. <laughs> Called the wife, sat down with a, whatever bottle that captain's got in there and just sat in it. Watch it again because I'm, now I'm trying to figure out where it came from. <laughs> All right, so it's out there. We'll just slow-mo it, it cuts straight at the boat. Oh, look, he's tail walking. Yeah, he's, and he tail walks onto the back of the boat. And then he hits the boat. He ducks him. It hits oh, him in the look chest. Look how close actually. that is. Mega close. Oh, and then the he tail. like he like break dance back spins on the corner of the boat and off the back. Mm. Hey, mm. Makes me want to go sword fishing. They're gonna be able to see that, right? Marlin fishing. You're gonna add the. Yeah, I'll slow it. Down. I'll figure it out. Okay. I might just screen record from here on. That way, uh, I've got the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's pretty nuts. He almost died. Could have you seen? There was a. Uh, there is a guy who got a sword in the mouth. No, I haven't like seen that. Fishing came straight on in the back of his throat. Killed him? Some, no, didn't kill him. Wow. That he told. He was telling the story. You're crazy. Like all. <laughs> you crazy. <laughs> I have, to, I have to update these sounds. Yeah. Um, I want to get a... I'm totally stealing it from another episode, but he has a pizza, pizza. I just really like it. Pizza, pizza? Yeah, the Little Caesars. Yeah. Pizza, pizza. <laughs> <laughs> All right, laugh. I'll add it. Makes me laugh. They usually, when they talk about fat people, which we don't talk about fat people because we're fat, but we talk about... Personalities. Uh, personalities. Yeah. Yeah, that's our, that's our pizza, pizza. I should have told him that we had him as a soundboard when I met him. Probably good he didn't. <laughs> but he sees him. His voice says, does not match how he looks. But I think it kind of does. Bourbon personalities. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. Yeah. You be the judge, folks. <laughs> yeah. Who is that? <laughs> don't tell him. Yeah. So, um, also, if you have clips that you think that we we would like to watch, Submit, please send them. Send them to info at whiskeyandwhitetails.com. Yeah. And unlike MTV... <laughs> what you can send us is MTV still a thing please recreate you know how they have that thing like do not recreate them oh recreate it yeah recreate it 
Also, we have... Sorry about slamming a thing. We have an executive producer that was going to tell show that happens to be a... Um, like his job, he's you know how you hear about like snipers. Well, his job, he's a sniper in the United States Army as a Green Beret, Special Forces, as his job. So in the beginning, we used to have this like, yeah, thank you for your service. We, used to, <laughs> we had a, we had a challenge in the beginning about smacking the like button. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This still is this still a thing. It's still a thing. So we had a thing about smacking the like button. If you smack the like button like super hard. I don't know what we said. We, you'd have to you go break back. your phone. Like you got to send us a video yeah. of you breaking a phone, smashing a screen, the like a button. monitor, something like that. Just hitting the like button so hard that you break it. Well, he's about to beat you all to it, and it's a good price pack. So for sure, just letting you know for yeah. sure. And then we'll probably if he when he does it, we're gonna make him like reigning champion. He told me the plan. I won't ruin it, but reigning champion of the yeah. And then someone's gonna the do like better smash, than that. The like button smash. You gotta do better than that. And then. Well, I'll be the judge of it. We're like, no, that sucked. Some F-16 pilot <laughs> nail it with a, with a rocket. <laughs> yeah. That would work. That would work. All right, so th- I don't know what order these are in, so I don't really know what's next, but but it, but here's another one. Oh, no, I can't use the sound. I don't really... I didn't see it because... Oh, it's this deer smacking a turkey out of the... Get out of my corn! <laughs> <laughs> you, man... Deer are, are wild when they. It looks to be probably the middle of the rut based on his. Uh, well, maybe not the middle of the rut, but on the it's, bone it's structure later in the later in the year for sure. Yeah, this isn't right now. Scott McClellan, get the fuck out of here! What's he texting me? Oh, that's for later. Yeah, um, <laughs> deer. It's a pretty good one. Um, I didn't really vet these, so. See what it's, it's, about it's about to. It's another. Oh, listen, that that's a thick boy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. little fox is trying to trying to jack him oh, up. Oh man, he's getting it from uh, the little coyotes. It's a pack of coyotes. Looks like he's about to wreck him up, though. I might put some music to this. That's the downside, man. Is you know, it's a good sized buck, but you get th- four of those little bastards, and they yeah, can he, definitely. He, he's not playing around. He's gonna kill somebody. Which I don't blame. No. I hope he does. I hope he does too. On the turkey shed. Oh, this is Bomar bow hunting. Holy cow. Oh, wait, let me try it. Pat- that was funny. I found a turkey shed. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> you know, we passed him up this year because we thought you know, he's going to get so much bigger. I'm glad we did. Big old inch and a half spur. He grows this back. He'll probably be maybe two inches. <laughs> That's a really good one. That is a good one. That's Bomar bow hunting. We. <laughs> We're fans of them. You gotta, you gotta show the video though, because it's yeah, I will. Uh, it's that's a good, really it's a nice shed. It's yeah, a nice turkey shed. That is a nice turkey shed. For those who didn't know, turkeys <laughs> shed their legs apparently, like a cicada. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. I wonder if it, I wonder if it'll grow back. I doubt it. Who do you think got to it? I, if I had to One guess, probably a coyote or another uh, another bird of prey. Yeah, mm. and it was leftovers. But it also looked like it was a fresh burn, a fresh. Uh, yeah, it does look like a uh, fresh. Um, so maybe it got caught in a burn. Caught in a control burn. Its feathers all cooked him up. Roasted, roasted Roast. turkey. <laughs> Suicide by oven. <laughs> <laughs> all right, what's next? I got it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> Did it just land in his lap? He just caught him by the neck. I think. <laughs> I got it. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> what are those snow geese? Yeah, this is definitely snow geese. That would be a lot of fun. Yeah, that's hilarious. Just walked in. Gosh! Holy so cow. do you kill it or you just hang out? I'd That'd, feel a little bad. Yeah, if it just landed there, it'd be like. Can you like, legally kill it with your hands? Yeah, I don't know. I, I guess, guess you, you could look, look up the like you know there's there's rules to hunting, but there's like methods of take. Yeah, methods of take too, yeah. right? So. You like gator, just, you can't just go pick a gator up and kill it. No, you can't just run around the, the woods yeah. and grab a white-tailed deer and shake it to death. You probably could. I, I mean, if you could, it'd be actually kind of impressive. I thought about, like, uh, ramboing out of a tree with a knife in my Everybody mouth. Everybody says that. I just, I, Do you think what would happen, though? If I jumped out of a tree with a knife in my mouth? You'd probably cut yourself. Yeah, I'd, I'd get hurt. I cut myself making cucumbers, so... Did. 
I sent, uh, I was looking at knives the other day. Matt is notorious for cutting himself. And one of the reviews said, uh, love this knife. Cut myself within 10 minutes of own, of opening it. Would buy it again. And I immediately sent it to Matt and said, is, was this your review? <laughs> I had to read the name to see because I feel like I've probably left a review like that before. I did on the Shun Tzu when I sent those back for or the, sun, the Sun Tzu. That's not what they're called. They're called Shun. Sun Tzu uh, wrote a book called The Art of War, which I recommend reading. It's pretty good. But Shun, Shun, right? Yeah, Shun Cutlery. Anyway, I sent them a knife back and it had blood on it. And I left a note in there. I was like, it's mine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. Which is funny. I bet they opened it and were like, if it cuts you, why were you sending it back? It was also before I knew how to use a regular knife sharpener. You good? Yeah, it's delicious. Yeah, it's really good. Oh, let's do a let's do a uh, plug break for because we have a giveaway going on. It's too late now. When the episode comes out, the giveaway is over. But pay attention to our page. It's up on the pod, pod of the week. This week's plug of the week is Dom Gatto. Hey, <laughs> got me acting <laughs> like an idiot. Um, so. <laughs> By the time this episode's out, this giveaway is over, so this is a reminder to make sure you're always checking our page for promos and giveaways. This particular promo, I won't get into the details, but uh, you got, what did you get, Matt? You got a cocktail smoker kit and a, a, fr- um, a print? Yeah, his print, he's doing on, um, uh, what's the name of that fabric that makes really good prints that look like paintings? Canvas? Canvas. Yeah. He's doing a can- full canvas print of that buck that he had in the fog yeah really good like a bluish color to it yep so that you get a cocktail smoker kit yeah so for this particular giveaway it was really easy all you had to do was follow us and dom which a lot of you probably are share the pic or the post tag us in it and then uh, you got 10 bonus points by subscribing to our podcast so that's how easy it was to win a hundred plus dollars worth of stuff because those those Uh, prints aren't cheap that print is almost 300 so there you go. Yeah, um, <laughs> if it's the one that um, he's that I think he's giving. Yeah. Up. So, anyways, man, make sure you're checking out. Uh, props to Dom. Uh, he does great, great photography. Go check out his website, domgottophoto.com. He has really awesome prints. Uh, really, really good looking. Uh, we have photography. Dom photography in our uh, yeah, studio it's all over in our studio. And uh, the holidays are going to be here before you know it. So keep an eye on uh, his page and his website. He does promos throughout the year as well. So that's is- also. An executive producer of the Whiskey Michael Show. Producer supports us. We support him every way we can. Uh, he used to have a podcast as well, but he was like, "They do it better," so I'm done, and he quit. And I was like, "No, Dom, everyone can do it." I'm just kidding. That's not why he quit. He quit because he refocused his company and decided the podcast wasn't part of the part of the thing. No, he did. Uh, they, he does uh, like a weekly. Yeah, the Wildlands Photo Battle, and and um. Which is good too. You get to win a lot of stuff. Like he gives away presets, and his presets are money. If yeah. you're getting new into photography, you want to learn how to get started. Lightroom presets are the thing. Do we still sell presets? I think they're on the website. Yeah. yeah, we sell ours as well, but ours are more specific to indoor and and whiskey bottle pictures. You can use them for outside, but they'll take some tweaking. But yeah, Indeed. That be the plug of the week. All right, next. Oh, there's another one with music. I'm gonna add my own music because that's a big old buck. <gasps> oh no! Oh, that's a bow on the ground. Yeah, hard to kill sucks. a hard to kill a buck. Look at him, perfect at twenty yards. At no perfect, less. Broad standing side perfectly of the barn. broadside, yeah. scratching his own back with his antlers, just begging to get poked with an arrow. Jeez, cannot make it happen. Oh, we'll do this one real quick, just because this guy's an idiot. <sighs> mm. Teeth. That one hurts. Imagine the hole in his face right now. My teeth tingle. Like my yeah. mouth feels funny watching that man. Yeah. If you're only, uh, if you're not, if you're audio, if you're an audio only listener, uh, this guy <laughs> just was one holding, I don't know, 308, 30 out of six, something along those lines. Yeah. At full arm length, pulled the trigger, and the butt slammed him in the face. Like you would hold a pistol out in front of you. Yeah. Like center, but with kind of one center hand. squared. And yeah, out in front of him and just ate it. Nom nom. Stupid. That's a rifle butt sandwich. You know, it's like 
Is that your first time shooting? Like when I was young, I, I someone tricked me into that. My well, uncle and uh, <laughs> here's the thing: even if it is your first time, like shouldn't you have you, someone? Did, or, yeah, someone did you owns not, that gun. Did, that guy's a piece of did shit. Did you not look around and go, "Hey, how do I do this?" Well, it's like someone and then, and then that someone gun. that owns right, and my, and and then like on top of that, like you said, somebody owns that gun. Somebody there has shot a weapon before and chose not to tell you. That's why they're filming it. You're an asshole. Yeah. That guy's a dick. The guy that, if he just didn't know any better, that's also stupid because you could, you should Google anything before you do it. A hundred percent. Yeah. People, uh, it's, you know, that's what gives gun owners a bad name, man. They, they, people like that, people that don't respect the firearm and, and treat it the way it should be treated. <sighs> yeah. That's frustrating okay. to see. Yeah. It makes it's me not sad. fun. It's not fun. All right, next. Ooh. I didn't Good watch that one Lord. either. Watch that again. It's just the gun just comes apart. Oh, Jeez, my dude. God. I wonder what he did. It blew apart right at the bridge now that we're like slow-mo back and forth there. So he either he either had the wrong, wrong load probably. The wrong load in there or he had a squ a squib that didn't that he didn't and had a misfire previously. Thought it was a misfire, it was a yeah. squib and and then it was, you know. You ever had one? No, me neither. I, I, um, I've definitely loaded the wrong round before. I put a three hundred eight in my five five six, and um, I mean, obviously it didn't load, but uh, it's I. I don't even know how I did it. I was I was at a public range when not a AR fifteen. It's bolt action, but um, a a range. It was a public range um, at a at a at a shop, and there was a couple shooting next to me, and there was a range officer in there, which is good because there's some places around here where you shoot there's nobody in there oh, there's a lot of places out here and this particular place had a a a professional like range officer in in there um and the people next to me i was doing some other stuff and i was when you're in the range you kind of hear things going on you hear the cadence of them shooting boom and they're shooting a handgun i don't remember i don't remember what it was but they weren't very used to it you could tell it was just kind of Boom. We get gonna reset. Boom. And they shot and it sounded different. Yeah. And before I knew it, there was a commotion to the right of me, and the range officer had come from behind the line and basically reached over and grabbed the firearm because she the woman was just in that cadence of shooting. She didn't realize that the difference in sound that, that gun that, that it made, it ejected the cartridge. But the lack of uh, the, the, con the the sound of the concussion, this guy, for whatever reason, was paying enough attention to notice that there was a difference in that noise and stopped. There, that that was a squib round. It did not leave the, the barrel She's completely. She's just stacking them up? And she, well, it was just one. Uh, and it was just, the next pull would have blown that gun up in her hand. And he, and he stopped it before because he heard the difference in the, in the sound, which was, I, I don't know how he did that, but... She got lucky. She I think did get um, lucky. my Desert Eagle has done that before. That, that thing's a piece of shit. <laughs> I would not recommend anyone buy a Desert Eagle. It, um, it, Anytime I see someone carrying that in the movie, is like their thing. I'm like, that is so impractical. I hope, I, I hope that the day someone pulls, a <laughs> yeah, someone pulls a gun on me. It's one of those because I'd be like, sick. Yeah, give me a minute and I'll pull mine out real slowly and shoot him in the face. But there's no way. It, it's it's such an unpractical firearm, but mine, yeah, mine. Um, sometimes it'll you remember it'll jam shut, mm -hmm. and then you have to beat the shit out of it with a hammer to open it back up. <laughs> it's, which how much fun is that? Yeah, beating the hell out of a gun. Well, a jammed gun. Like, do you look down the barrel to see if it went off? <laughs> sure, try it out. You know, Don't I do. do. Don't I look? Look down the glory hole at the. <laughs> <laughs> you look, at, you look down a fifty. Uh, yeah, you won't feel anything. You're not going to feel I anything. Promise. promise. <laughs> Promise. Um, I thought about hunting with it once too, but I'm not very good at it because it kicks so damn hard. It's just a, it's just a gun to have. It's like five dollars a bullet too. You got to get one of those uh, fifty caliber, like with the really long barrel, the wheel guns that they use to hunt bear in the mountains. Oh yeah, that's what I could do that. They have like barrels that are like this long. Yeah, or like a forty four magnum. Yeah, yeah, that too. And they throw they throw scopes on them and they carry them in big giant holsters across their chest. Well, I had the red dot on there. I had the red dot on there and I, it wouldn't it wouldn't keep zero obviously. <laughs> and then um, I was like, "Fuck it, I'll just leave it on there." And I don't know, 
second mag, maybe two rounds in, it it cracked it like in bet- in the middle of the where it mounts. It cracked the feet on it. Oh really? It fell off. <laughs> It just fell off, and I was like, of course it would blow off. And I picked it up, and uh, the leg had cracked off. Oh, man. Yeah, that gun's stupid. It, may, it makes no point. It's cool. It looks cool, I guess. All right. What's, what's next? Oh, this is a good one. It was... Um, is you turkey hunting? Yeah. Playing a game of whack fuck here. Whack fuck! <laughs> <laughs> that, oh, man. That sucks. Yeah. It's uh he went to pull the trigger for that. That sucks so bad. Pull the trigger and uh it and it was not loaded. So it just dry fire click. And then he went to rack it and the turkey took off. Took off. You big dummy. I love that thing, the whack fuck game. <laughs> the the sounds funny. Have you ever I showed you a bunch of them before, right? Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah. They're hilarious. I like the one with it's like two Air Force guys and a and a helicopter. And they're like the joysticks are connected and he's like playing a game of whack fuck here and he grabs the the joystick is like whack and hits the other dude in the nuts. And he's like fuck. <laughs> uh, Do you know it's originally from golf? They, they were golfing. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I've seen the original video. The original video is really funny too. I'm gonna play that one again just for fun. Playing a game of whack fuck here. Whack. Fuck. <laughs> 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 oh yeah, I saw this one the other day. <laughs> he got me. It's a lot of noise. It's a dude wrestling a, what, an eight point. It's like a decent eight point. Did you get that on tape? <laughs> <laughs> he's lucky, man. I'm guessing he's like out reporting or something. I didn't see where it uh, where it came from. Well, I have a, for the next episode, we'll do a, a whitetail episode. And, yeah. And I have a story that I, I already prepped uh, that deals with a guy getting attacked by a deer, jacked up by a deer that he, he failed to, to get a good shot on and tracked it. And it led to a uh, per- <laughs> kind of a funny series of, of events, but I won't give it away. But we'll, yeah, yeah, that, that kind of thing happens for sure. And He's lucky that deer is in velvet, and he didn't have oh, I know. point, you know, pointy antlers. But he was like, he got me, and I was like, he did not get. He you. did not even close. Yeah. <laughs> he hit you with a very hard teddy bear. Like, you're, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Your clothes aren't ripped up. No, no, yeah, that was a that was a good one. That was funny. It made me laugh. I think that's it. Yeah, that's a picture of my printer at work because I got to figure out how to uh, how to connect to the new printer. <laughs> <laughs> I have so many pictures <laughs> like that in my. What's the, fucking IP address of this thing. Yeah, I don't know. I was like, I'm not going to write it down. And I don't ever have a pen on me, so I had to go back and get it. Oh, did I show you? Uh, I guess I could show this on, on here. <laughs> I have a lot of practice. I've seen it a few times, but it's still funny. Yeah. I heard you. Everybody, I everybody was... Uh, Everybody was good. Nobody got hurt or harmed in the video, the making of that. I hit Andy in the foot with the uh, with the top of the mixer. Yeah, and uh, it was blue for like a week and a half. Probably broken, fractured at least. It, Toes break pretty easy. And she and her feet are tiny. Her feet are the size of that cloud box, but like half that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just she was like a size four. Just tiny little feet. Yeah, and hands. She's like a little pocket monkey or something. My strong hand. <laughs> yeah, strong hand. <laughs> Uh, yeah. yeah, man. How do you feel about the uh, now that turkey's been sitting for a while? It's not bad. I still like it a lot. I do too. It's interesting, like the apple notes or the uh, the lemon notes with that smoke. Mm-hmm. <sighs> <sighs> yeah, yeah, it's good. It's uh, worth having on the shelf. For sure. So if you're looking for it, Wild Turkey 101 Rye. Can't go bad with it. So we're we're tossing around a bunch of ideas now on, on stuff that we want to do. And um, I think we're just going to start doing it, to be honest with you. Like what? Just like, you know, stuff that we don't want to say that we want to do. Yeah. I think we need to redo that Yeti video, too, because I've gotten way better at that bowl. <laughs> We're just going to keep redoing it until there's only one video that exists and it's you doing it really, really good. Yeah. I mean, I can do it pretty good now. 
but it's uh, I just watch our YouTube trending stuff, and um, that video gets a lot of views. And it's a terrible that, video. That video gets a lot of views. Yeah, I think it's because people see it and they're like, "What is this thing?" And they look it up. It's really frustrating, you know. Well, you know, people are because you, uh, sh- you don't share our videos. Yeah, what's that? What's that? Uh, that real thing? My friends, uh, my friends are like, "How come you're not a millionaire yet?" It's like because you don't share my shit. Yeah. Oh yeah. How come? <laughs> how come? Uh, how come you haven't blown up yet? Well, how come you ain't shared my shit? Yeah, you ain't share my shit. How come you don't share much? <laughs> the other thing we found, and this is fun too, didn't cost you anything. So we there's a, it doesn't matter to us who what you are it doesn't matter. If you want to do something yeah. with us, we're we're like yeah, let's do it. So there's shout out to Manhattan Project. They make a Manhattan, um, like every video they just make they make a Manhattan a different way or whatever, and then they just kind of chit chat. There's a short guys are cool. They've um they loved our wild turkey or our uh, Pappy Van Winkle monkey bread video. Nice. And so they're doing a Manhattan challenge right now. So make make a Manhattan. There's some rules. You can check it on their YouTube page. But they commented on our last uh, our last podcast and was like, "Hey, how could we not invite the guys that did Pappy Van Winkle Monkey Bread? Like we want, but they want us to take part. Like we're all about that. And so we sometimes will reach out to a bunch of people. Yeah, big pages, small pages, whatever." And we'll just say stuff like, hey, it'd be cool if, you know, and they we get left on red. Nobody wants to say anything, but it's almost like they, they don't want to, sh- they're like, we can't, no, because if if we give you any limelight, then we'll lose our one, we could lose one follower and they'll start following you. They don't understand that everybody has plenty of time in their day and everybody likes content. So everybody looks, nobody wants to watch the same content over and over again. Correct. Like I don't, I follow several people. And if they recommend somebody, I go follow their stuff and look at their stuff. It doesn't change anything, but one, here's what we've learned is people be stingy when it comes to uh, collaborating. Like, everybody takes this shit way too serious, and, like, they don't even have a business. They're just they're just, they're just just people talking into a camera. Like, that for us, this is the fun part. We have a business. We, we sell stuff. We go to events. We, we're involved in wholesaling. We do all this stuff. We make products. We, you know, we have a lot going on. For us, this is the fun part. Yeah, this is where we get to kind of relax and, and have fun. Uh, yeah. not that, not that having a business isn't fun, but no. it's, yeah, it's a business and we just started it not that long ago in the grand scheme of things. And it's, we still got day jobs. It's not like we're yeah. retiring from anything, you yeah. know? Um, I think that's the other misconception is that people assume that we're, Oh yeah. They think that we're like, like fucking Walmart over here. <laughs> no, there's not, not hard. We, we work a day job and then we hustle whiskey and whitetail stuff. And all of that money goes back into whiskey and whitetail, so that we can have. You think you think the studio is free? You think a podcast pays for a studio? Uh, I like, wish. Like all of this stuff is this is what we do for fun. So all the money that we get from sales goes back into the company. I've never. Have you ever paid yourself a single dollar from this company? Not one single cent. I don't think I have either. Nope. Yeah. So go ahead and get that out of your mind. We're just regular freaking people, like everybody else. We're not trying to compete with anybody. We're just trying to have a good time in this world that we live in. And uh, the reason that we went down this hunt, this trail, is because hunters are cool, bourbon drinkers are cool, and that, and that's it. Like those are the two things we like to do. Y'all are our people, and, and we thought this would be fun. So we're not trying to compete with anybody. We're not trying to reinvent any wheels. We're not trying to do that. We're just trying to have, have a good time. And we want you to come along with us. You good? I'm looking for the soapbox. <laughs> <laughs> get off of it I was worried if I shit my pants or something <laughs> no. no yeah we don't ever do that if this is your first time listening that's the first time we've ever done that but I just had to get it out I feel way better now good I'm glad That's that's this is like our weekly therapy session if you like a weekly or, or at least monthly group therapy type session you should check out our Patreon yeah Patreon's fun and you get a lot of rewards out of it and we have a <clears throat> Group therapy. Yeah. First and Thursday of every month. First Thursday of every month, we hang out, we share the whiskey, we drink some cigars, we BS and chit chat, and it's a lot of good times. Yeah. Faux facts. Faux facts. Not me. I don't have vibrate turned on. Bruh. I do. Because I'm smart. Debatable. <clears throat> Anyways. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, we kept this all as one episode, but we may be splitting them in the future as uh, 30 minute segments twice a week. Or, I don't know, you guys let us know. Is an hour too long? 
Do you watch the whole hour? Would it be better if it was uh, 30 minutes Monday, 30 minutes Thursday, and we split it to a clip show and then a, a whiskey or a whitetail product, and then maybe we'll leave it on audio. We can do like a full hour on audio. I don't know. Audio is easy. I can take I can take multiple clips and, and throw them together and yeah, make just, one long episode. The thing is, is pe pe people that watch YouTube... Well, see, the YouTube thing is different. Like, you get an email or, or your notif right. you check notification bells, you know, there's a new video. It's just a new video to you where podcasts, most podcasts are weekly. That's what I'm saying. It's so a, to put out two a week. Podcast is different. Like, And yeah. also, people generally put a podcast on and they're, and then they're doing something else or they're yeah. driving. So yeah. an hour is not, not hard to go through. You're going for a run, you're working yeah. out. Um, but I know myself personally, when I watch something on, on YouTube... I will never sit and watch an hour long YouTube. Video. That's a long video. Yeah, I will never do it. <laughs> if I I have, and it gets broken up into multiple days. Yeah, so I won't do it unless it's like informational. There's no way I'd sit down and watch an hour long podcast on YouTube. It has to be something really specific. Or really like if special. you're like Drew when he, Drew working out right now. Yeah, like throwing, that makes it, sense. throwing it up on a TV or like an entertainment system. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. That makes sense. There's there have been a few. But if I watch YouTube, I'm usually like looking for something or I'm sitting on the couch enjoying yeah. a type of content that right. I like. There's been a few podcasts that I listen to that have had sp specific guests that because of the way they talk and their they interact, the yeah. things that I've I've gone and watched the whole thing over the course of you know a day or two. But yeah, I think you're right, and uh, we got to play the algorithm game, if, folks. Yep. If we're going to keep growing and bringing you stuff, so so we might uh, we might be splitting the YouTube part up. The actually, you know what? Let's just do that. We'll do, unless someone, unless we get enough people tell us otherwise, we will do the podcast. We'll keep it an hour for audio. And then for video, I will split it. I'll make two separate videos each month, half and half. Uh, each week? Yeah, each week. Sorry. Okay. If one, one of whiskey or whitetails and then one of uh, the clip stuff. Yeah. So if for an audio listener, it'll just sound like these are the segments that these guys are doing. They do yeah. 30 minutes of this, 30 minutes of that. Um, and then for... For YouTube, I'll just I'll chop it in half and do, but even then, thirty minutes might be too long for a YouTube video. Well, we'll find out. Yeah, we'll find out. We'll just keep bringing it down. Maybe we do four fifteen minutes <laughs> segments, part one, five yeah. six ten minute videos. Yeah, five ten minute videos. It's a lot of work. Wow. We'd also have to stay on topic for ten minutes, or we could just end it all with to be continued, and then it's like click the next video on our link to watch them. <laughs> That's how everybody else does it. They do 30 minutes of content and then they break it into, th into three 10 minute videos and they tell you to watch the next video because the next video is the one. The next video is the one where we're going to yeah. get to the thing and we're going to tell the story of yeah. the stuff. Well, after I've already told you all, the this is why you should do this. I don't know. Just do whatever we want. We're figuring it out, folks. Yeah. Thanks for hanging out. Appreciate you. Have a good week. And what is today? National what? Do we write it down? No, because uh, Monday's the 4th of July, so happy 4th. Oh, happy 4th of July. Jesus, oh, shit. Shit. we fucked that all up, didn't we? Well, let's um, let's let's re let's do a let's do it right now. I'll cut this out and put it in the beginning, and I'll also leave it in the end so everybody can see how it is. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's screwed up. What does it go? Hey, happy fourth. fucking oh, but mm. hey, happy 4th of July. Happy Independence Day, motherfuckers. Yeah, happy and American Day. I hope you get sunburnt today and drink too much and have a hamburger and a hot dog. I hope you eat so much food and I hope God, I hope you feel like you shit drink tomorrow. Drink so much alcohol and I mm. hope by eleven thirty tonight, after mm -mm -mm. you've seen all the fireworks, you are puking up all that processed meat that was so good. I hope your dogs don't sleep tonight because of the fireworks and everything's annoying and the yeah. kids are screaming. I hope, I hope your all baby it. wakes up because it's five people are setting off fireworks at two a.m. in the morning for no fucking reason. I'm not, I'm not venting. I hope at your all. PTSD neighbor puts a sign out that says, "Be aware that I'm scared of." Boom booms. <laughs> oh, happy fourth, folks. Happy fourth. I don't know what I'm going to do with that, but I'm going to do something with it. Leave it just the way it is. I'll I think it, it's funny. I'll make it, I'll clip it.